hi guys it's Nancy here and I just wanted to be back to just share a quick haul but it's also going to be the stash that I'm going to be working um, with for my Hey Little Magpie blog post and this blog post will be up on the 3rd of April which is crazy thinking about April already but basically I saw this collection come into the store and it's something I haven't really seen um, much about, but I do love basic grey um, and I just love the colours that we had here. So I'm just going to do a share of the papers and then the embellishments I've got. And then my plan is to use this kit up or use this collection pack and embellishments up um, as much as I possibly can and get as many layouts and cards and projects from this. So I'm just going to run through that for you. Um, and yeah, that's it. And then I will be back with some further videos um, of the layouts that I've made. So this is the basic grey collection and it is called Prism. Um, it is 2014, it says on here, but I believe it is one of the newer releases. So this is just the front sheet. And I do tend to keep these because you can cut these out and die cut them as well. So I did get the collection pack, but I also did get a couple of extra sheets of the paper that I really liked. So this um, piece of paper is called Beaded and it's kind of like a lime, yellow with lime green detailing on. Let's bring it up to the camera though, then you can just see that. And then on the back is this beautiful pattern and I actually love this. I love the designs with the kind of sketchy look with the orange, the turquoise. Um, it is actually a black and then the lime green so I really love that side. So that's probably going to be the side that I'm going to use. Um, then we have Aztec. Again, really love this kind of triangular design. I'm kind of really falling in love with triangles at the moment. So this is a really beautiful design. And then on the back here is another geometrical design um, with the yellow. And that's kind of a bit like sort of also the gem theme that's going around at the moment. So it's I suppose it's a prism. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to be more likely to use that. And the thing I love about basic grey papers, of course, is they're all distressed around the edge. Next up is Spoke. And again, it's that same as the yellow, but this is one that is on turquoise. And I really love that turquoise colour. And I'm not a big fan of this, but this reminds me of tiles that... I don't know if they're in our house, my mum and dad's house or something. They just remind me really much of tiles. Um, probably not going to use that side. I'm more likely to use this as a background paper. So that is Spoke. Um, next up we had Mod. And this is a kind of a flower emblem. And I know this emblem is features in other parts of the collection as well. And then this is a kind of an open daisy kind of wheel design. So that's quite nice and subtle. And I can see myself more likely to use that side than on the floral side. This one is called Quilt and I absolutely love this paper. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's got this dark um, black with... Um, it's kind of supposed as a teal. It, the teal makes it look a bit navy. So I really love that, but it's this side that I love the most. But I did um, buy another sheet of this because I really loved it. So I have got the option to use both sides. Next up I bought two of these as well. Um, and this one is called Pyramid. <laughs> really love this design. Um, again, featuring that teal and that lovely um, lime green. And then the back of it was just this black, so I thought that would actually be, it's a distressed black, but I thought this would come in really useful for actually matting and layering some of the photos, but I really love this piece of paper, so I've got two of those. Um, next up we have Weave, which is this orange and pink design. Um, not overly loving that. This side, loving. So this is a nice sort of checkbox design um, with all the colours from that collection. Oh, love it. Um, 
This one is called Medallion. Again, this pink side, not overly keen on with this pattern. This side, I love. This really reminds me of a, I think it's a Studio Calico piece of paper, actually. Um, and basically, I do design a lot for Studio Calico, so that may be where I've seen that before. Really, really love that. This is called Petals. I um, hate this piece of paper. Hate may be a strong word. But I really dislike it. And then it's got this nice pink design on the back. So that's quite a neutral. So I can use that. That is just hideous. Um, and to me, that doesn't seem to go with anything else. But hey-ho. So overall, you can see the colours. If I just quickly fan these out. You can see the colours of this collection. And they are just beautiful. Absolutely love it. So really looking forward to using uh, this and you get nine double sided papers and of course I then bought two extra so I do have 11 pieces of paper. You then get the Prism Alpha in the collection pack and I love these alphas. Um, I'm sure I will use these not only on layouts but I'll then use them for project life. My only issue with these alphas is how to store them because they tend to get bashed up but there's through there's two different fonts on here so really love those you also then get the um, element sticker sheet and as you can see the floral design um, do come in quite a lot in the stickers and things love these bold tags and again the prism shape but it has got a couple of sentiments and also these border stickers that I could possibly use as well so I really love that Next up I got the tags and I would say this is not something I'd normally go for but I really love the craft so you do get some twine. I really love the craft um, with the printing on. It just looks really, yeah it looks really nice. So this one says um, you're awesome, um, hello lovely, I love the word lovely, I call everyone lovely. This one's just got some white design on. This one's just got a blue sort of striped one. This one says favourite memories. And this one just has some blue printing on. So I really like those tags. Um, and I said they're not something I'd necessarily go for, but um, I decided, you know, as I was going to try and work with the collection, that I wanted to get a couple of other of the embellishment pieces and I thought tags are always something that I enjoy using and I said you then get that twine in there as well so um, before I go into the die cut pack I did then get the 6x12 sheet of stickers and this has more I'll probably say useful stickers on it's got some kind of big journaling box it's got arrows and then it's got these kind of larger um, element stickers so I think that's going to help me kind of do some layering and stuff with this. Um, the problem of course is always when you have a collection pack that you have to cut, in it for, cut into it for the first time and that can always be a little bit distressing. Um, let me just turn this piece of paper over um, so I can show you the die cut um, cardstock and transparencies. Um, they don't tell you how many you get in here let me just tip them out so you can see some. This is just the image on the back. Um, but so you do get transparencies, and I'm really, you know, these are very usable. Um, let me just zoom in a little bit for you guys, sorry, so you can actually see what I'm doing here. So yeah, you've got these transparencies, you've got these kind of medallions, something saying coolest thing, fun times. You also um, do have, you know, like the smaller elements as well, like these petals and labels. Um, one saying awesome. So yeah, you've got quite a mix of the transparencies. You have got like this flower design in large die cuts, which you know is probably going to be a bit harder to use. But then you've got these nice, like this is a little slide frame. With the word lovely in, and I were, love the word lovely. Um, lots of little banner pieces, so these are going to be really cute to layer up and really easy to layer up. We've got some arrows and then we've got some sentiment stickers, so we've got just fun, best ever, amazing, 
good times, just loving life. Loads of little triangles here. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'd use them for. Great day. Again, you've got a flower design. More flowers. More tiny little tabs. So they're going to be quite good to do some um, stamping on. The dates and things. Embrace the little things. I really love that. You've also got another tag. And then some more of the transparency um, pieces. So you get quite a lot here. And I think it's going to help me to kind of do some embellishments for this project. So I just want to thank everyone for watching. And um, you know, let me know what you think of this collection. Because um, it's not one that I'd seen. But I am really excited to see what I um, can create with it. I really love the colour palette that um, is in this collection as well. So, um, yeah, really excited to share this all with you. Um, and it will be, you know, later, what will be beginning of April when I share the, um, share the projects from this. But I just wanted to give you a chance to see the um, supplies that I'm going to be using. So I just want to thank you guys for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon. Bye!